I mean, I don't know. I might, my thoughts aren't really good right this minute. It's not It's not fun when your season has to come to an end. And, you know, we didn't get some of the stops. We didn't guard the arc as well as we should have. And, uh, you know, that comes down to us and as a coaching staff, you know, and, and for the players to make adjustments too. I, I just felt like we didn't make adjustments on the floor enough. Um, so, you know, it's just unfortunate. We'll, you know, keep our head high, but we should have won this game today. It's two games in a row. Now we should have won. Are you saying that team in the huddle when you got the break? Oh, I mean, obviously, this is what we've been doing here. I don't really like that fabric of us, and that's the thing that we have to fix for next season because we wait around too long. Um, you know, obviously, they're a very good team, very skilled. You know, they're making buckets. At times, they were making buckets, and we knew that was going to be happening. We did a good job on their post in the first half. The post came alive in the second half. You know, that's what a good team does. But, uh, you know, we just got to, we have to we have to have a much more consistent effort for 40 minutes, and I think that's what our goal is in the postseason year and get ourselves ready for next season. Did you see the changes you wanted to see from the championship game to this game today? Yes, that's a great question. I thought, for the most part, after I had to lose myself and have a couple out of body experiences, our effort was better. The boxing out was better. Yeah, we didn't have some of those really blank out moments like we had in the championship game. That was actually a great question. You know, it's hard for coaches after a loss to, you know, talk about it. And I talked a lot about how much I was proud of them in there as well, too. But I just said for us to be a top 25 team in the country, which we're capable of being, they're just very brave and huge things that we have to make steps, giant leaps on for next season. But I felt like, you know, had much more effort, much more intensity. We had a couple moments when they made some buckets that and it slipped away for us a little bit. You know, we lose our wits a little bit and then, it, you know, it was a gap and then we fight that gap back. But, um, you know, obviously Kelly Loftus had a great offensive game and a great defensive game. I thought Darius had a strong defensive game. I thought Eve has just been herself consistent. Um, it, you know, and I think we just got to get a lot more out of Angie as well. And, and she gritted it for me in the second half, but, you know, she's much, much, much better than that. Her and they both. So, uh, you know, those are the folks that are, you know, can really help us get where we want to be, you know, in the coming year. Halo had so many aggressive moves in the low post. That's three straight really good games for her to, to end the season. Just talk about how much yeah. of an uplift that is. It's a huge uplift. I mean, that's the E that if we'd had all season long, we probably wouldn't have lost some of the games that we lost, you know. And so, you know, just couple that with consistent play out of Angie and Nay, uh, you know, and then everybody else doing their part, you know, Crystal doing her part. She was kind of quiet tonight, but, um, you know, we have obviously the makings of a, of a pretty daggum, you know, good team. Uh, but, you know, it just can't be a sometime thing. It's going to be an all-time thing. You look at this team, you mentioned all those names, they're all back next year. Yeah. I know the lost things right now, but right. obviously you have so much to look forward to. Well, that's exactly right. And I took a few moments of that. that you know, again, that's what I challenged them about where we want to be. You know, we can't forever spill milk now. It is what it is. Like, again, a skilled team like Penn, I knew this was going to be a tough game. I thought their guards played a little bit too much, too better than us in the first half. You know, we shouldn't have let them have what they got in the first half because I, I knew it was going to be a battle with the post. And I thought our post really dominated their post in, in the first half. But, um, you know, it's just exciting to, to know that everybody's back. It's exciting to have, have the blueprint in front of you of what you need to do. You know, and, and not have anybody being delusional or outside forces, that, you know, giving people delusionalness. You know, we know what we need to do for us to be consistently, consistently successful, and that's a nice thing to have. You have everybody back, everybody knowing how hungry we have to, hungry we have to be on every possession. It's a good, it's a good place to be.